Fall asleep in tonight's sleep story for adults as you dive under the deepest blue waters of serenity. Like being beneath a weighted blanket, there is a stillness and a solitude that may offer you distance from the noise of your waking life. And on this voyage, you may go deeper and deeper down into a bottomless aquatic escape where peace is as abundant as crystals of salt in the briny waters. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. You are listening to Under the Sea, your own personal meditation and journey towards sleep. I am Michelle, and you may think of my voice as that of your friend and your ally. I am here to offer you peace and kindness and a safe place to just be you. Where you are not just permitted, but also encouraged to let it all hang out. There is no judgment. There is no room for anything but self-love and self-care and the nourishing of your body and your mind and your spirit before you drift to sleep. I am here for you and everything will be okay. You are not alone even if it may feel that way at times. And you deserve to have this sacred time for restoration and dream-filled sleep every night of your life. It is your birthright. It is your opportunity to process and to relax and to connect with the deepest parts of you. You may use this time to connect with your authentic self and discover what you want to do with each moment, each day with your life. So use this personal canvas you have to embellish and add flair so that my words may take you any place that you would most like to go. And know that because this is an experience just for you, you may fall asleep and let go of my voice at any point you would like, knowing that even subconsciously, you may continue to visualize in your dreams the soothing waves in the deepest ocean waters. So get comfortable in your bed, getting cozy and relaxed as you just sink deeper and deeper down, inhaling as your belly rises like the crest of a wave and air goes deep into your abdomen before you exhale and sigh and let it all out and then inhaling again deeply before you let it go. The body is 90% water and you notice this feeling right now in your own body of hydration and awareness of the water inside. The gentle flow of your own life The gentle flow of your own life force makes it perfectly understandable why the ocean may feel like second nature as it calls to you. You hear the sound of lapping waves and you visualize your feet are stepping upon the moonlit black metallic rocks of the coast as a crescent moon illuminates the sea. 
on the starry, starry night. The sky above is an opulent shade of marine black, lush like velvet as stars glitter and illuminate the night. And you feel the coolness of the rocks as the salty sea foam meets your toes with gently crashing waves, forming a sticky sensation as the night wind blows off the ocean. You realize that this moment, like all moments in your day, is temporary. The moments we may enjoy seem to fall between our fingers and you steadily look onto the scene around you and take a mental picture. This place is for tranquility and you so very much deserve to feel this inner peace right now. Distilling this moment into a turquoise elixir that you contain in a glass vial wrapped in copper wire. You place this around your neck, letting the vial rest on your heart center, inhaling and exhaling. This memory is becoming a point you may return to whenever you find yourself stressed or anxious in your waking life. You taste the salty air upon your parted lips, looking out on the endless blue-black waters that continue to ebb and flow. And you feel as if you are rocking with them, undulating with the sea breeze that takes hold beneath you and the visual of the sea that makes you feel so relaxed. And then you hear it. First a whisper that rides the surface of the tide and carries on with the night's air. It is a beckoning that sailors and seamen have heard through the centuries calling you to join the sea. You can feel the magnetic pull of your body and with this a deeply trusting sensation that you can listen to that voice because it resonates and connects with your solar plexus in a solid knowing that you are safe and free to continue. Your feet walk along the luminescent black stones of the jetty that cuts deep into the ocean, balancing as waves crash against the rocks and your bare ankles. Every moment forward, is an opportunity to rebalance. Finding your center as you answer the calling, one step at a time, a little bit at a time. There is no need to rush on a journey that is so serene and rewarding along the way. Your hair flows behind you as the wind picks up. You are reaching the end of the jetty, feeling invincible and strong. Right now, you are able to really appreciate the person that you are how all the experiences, large and small, 
good and bad, have formed exactly who you are today. You reach the tip of the jetty and raise your arms up to the starry night's sky. As the crescent moon becomes perfectly positioned between your raised hands, you take in one last breath of air as you arch your upper back and your heart opens towards the seemingly endless sky before you dive into the water. You become one with the waves instantly, flowing gently, deeper and deeper down. Your body takes on a new form. It is whatever you desire to be. If you long to be a dolphin or a fish or a shark or a mermaid, This is for you to decide on this magical night where you are freed from all experiences on land and a welcomed visitor in this unexplored world beneath the sea. You float with the undertow and swim gently being propelled further from the shore and all the woes and noises of life on land. The sound below the sea softens all other noises beyond and you feel so good and purified. A school of tropical fish swim by in an array of fluorescent shades of blue and lime green and magenta and coral orange. You go deeper and deeper down, noticing how your sense of vision is keen in spite of the darkness of the night. All your senses have been sharpened. You come upon coral in shades of beige and lavender and notice the black and amethyst spines of sea urchins are forming clusters. A brilliant orange starfish floats close to the coral's surface and you can imagine what it must feel like in the palm of your hands in your waking life on land. There's something so comforting about this thought. You see a seahorse that rises from a cavernous dwelling in the bountiful coral and watch as it floats higher and higher up as if encapsulated in an invisible elevator. And you now take note of your own lightness of being, how you too are floating with such ease and such grace, with no concerns, just being in the moment. You watch the stream of tiny champagne bubbles that float freely from a school of tropical fish ahead. And then you see in the shadows a movement of a larger being. You feel safe and follow your intuition to swim closer for a better vantage point. A sea turtle emerges, flapping through the deep blue waters for over 110 million years. The sea turtles have inhabited this planet, continuing to thrive and adapt no matter how much the earth changed and evolved over time. 
and like a spark that you can see ignite in your heart center. You take this moment to feel this connection to the idea that you have also adapted and evolved over time. It is the natural course. And if you surrender to all that is beyond your control, you may focus on what is within your power. What a relief this may be for you to know how simple the secret to surviving is. To control what you can and go with the flow when things are out of your control. A bloom of jellyfish appear like Chinese lanterns, bioluminescent, and they surround you as if you are in the center of a carousel. In shades of translucent lilac and sky blue and opal, they are so delicate yet strong. And while you remain in place, they dance around you and balloon into their fullest expression. Their tentacles are feathery and extensive. Like celebratory streamers, they float and hypnotize you. They collectively rise above you and appear like a mobile hung above a baby's crib in a nursery. Like a wide-eyed infant, you are just as entranced and relaxed and given a calm sensation of peace. Watching as each jellyfish veers off from their formations individually propelling themselves towards the surface of the water that gets lighter and warmer with each movement. And with this, you venture further out into the deep sea where the bravest of souls set out during uncertain times in search of new opportunities and new foreign lands. You come upon a pod of dolphins. Their slick silvery skin and white underbellies streak through the blue waters like a light show. Their smiles are infectious as you too feel a blanket of bliss overcome your face with a tingling warmth that contrasts the cool waters of the ocean. The dolphins chatter as they journey onward, leaving a trail of oxygen bubbles that you swim through feeling their effervescence like a tingling massage. As the pod of dolphins travel towards the surface of the waves, you desire a deeper sense of solitude and begin to go deeper and deeper down. The water becomes a midnight blue with shimmering bits of plankton that glimmer like dust floating in golden sunlight that cascades through a window in winter. You go deeper and deeper down, exploring the darker waters as you come upon a sperm whale the largest of all toothed whales. 
and he is slumbering and still. You approach with great reverence, having never before experienced such a large and majestic mammal in real life. He is as large as a boat, powerful and to be respected. But you know you are safe and free to explore as much as you desire. There is a cluster of barnacles on his back, harmless yet intriguing. And you recognize how connected the life forms of the sea truly are. It makes you think of a universal connectivity and how we truly are all connected in some way, in unity. You wonder what it must be like to be a whale, to have so much mass and power and freedom to roam, to breach the largest of oceans and create such a splash that goes beyond a mere ripple. You relish in this idea of how nice it would be to have that kind of impact. And with that, you swim tepidly around the front of the slumbering whale. As you do, you meet the whale's eyes as they open. And as your eyes meet, there is a trust and mutual respect. It surprises you a bit, but overall makes you realize how at times you may anticipate things in fear. But when truly confronted with the reality, there is nothing to be afraid of. And perhaps all that anticipation is just energy that could be focused on doing the things you love and exploring and enjoying each moment that you are alive. The whale's eye blinks as if in a tender goodbye and you continue further allowing your intuition to guide you In the near distance, you see a shadowy outline of what appears to be a ship from a shipwreck that is firmly planted on the ocean's floor. You go deeper down and approach it, though clearly from an earlier time, the structure is intact. And looking at it, you can almost see the ship in its full glory as it comes to life beneath the sea. Like a reverie, it is as if you have traveled through time to a point when the ship first sailed and passengers were in their best attire dancing in a ballroom to the sounds of an orchestra. It's as if an echo of this music plays on in the otherwise deeply still and quiet depths of the ocean. And like in a reverie, you float to the inside of this ship and as if restored and back to life, 
You drift down the dark corridor towards a suite where you may sleep for the night. The experience reminds you of being a small child looking upon a fish tank where a decorative ship offers refuge for the pet fish contained within. And now you may play out that childhood fantasy in this ethereal experience buried deep in the sea. So very, very deep. Opening the door to the old style room adorned in velvet and a rich jewel toned palette. The drapes upon the porthole windows and luxurious bedspread are floating like an ethereal mirage. The lines of what is real and what is dreamlike are melting together like a watercolor painting left on a cobblestone street in the rain. Like a hologram that is superimposed upon the abandoned ship. The visions of this luxurious stateroom of eras gone by beckons to you. And so you allow yourself to surrender to this moment, ready to find slumber in the depths of the sea, where two worlds collide and time is no longer linear. Everything is existing right now. You float to the bed, allowing yourself to tuck beneath the covers that you pull to your chin, effortlessly letting go, ready to dream, ready to relax, ready to drift to sleep. And the deep stillness at the bottom of the ocean is like being in a vessel encapsulated in this ship, protected from anything in the outside world, anything in your waking life. So you may go deeper and deeper down deeper within, feeling a coolness on your face, and with each intake of breath, while the rest of your body is warm and content and snuggled down, letting go as you are floating and rocking back and forth and to and fro drifting feeling a sense of unity with a magical and secret world beneath the sea knowing you are safe You are tended to. You are free to continue to explore all the wondrous experiences your imagination may conjure. There are no limits. You can travel and venture into the most colorful and pleasing images right now. 
as I guide you across the bridge between your waking and sleeping life and I am going to count you down towards a night of restorative and healing sleep letting go ten nine eight seven six five four three two one finding peace Finding stillness. Finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night. <laughs>